Hey guys, Andy here, and today I wanted to give you an update on my personal life as well as my YouTube life. And so starting with my YouTube life, um, I've been working on this new series called Instagram Stories, and it's basically my own take on the daily vlog genre of videos on YouTube. Um, I've been wanting to do a daily vlog for the longest time, but I never really got around to it because I just kind of thought my own day-to-day -day life was pretty boring and I'd always either be too tired or too busy with school, work, and stuff like that. So for those reasons, I never really got around to doing one. But I found through Instagram stories, it's a lot easier, a lot lower pressure in eventually kind of putting together uh, the clips needed for a daily vlog. I'm just taking little 10 to 15 second clips throughout my day, putting them together, and boom, vlog! <laughs> So the vlogs are about two to three minutes on average, and they just kind of show little snapshots of my day-to-day -day life. And for a series that I didn't announce, you guys have been very receptive to it. And I want to thank you especially for being so receptive to the series. And as long as you guys like it, and as long as I like making it, there'll be more. And in addition to doing the Instagram stories, daily vlogs, I've also been working on my second YouTube channel. Andy Talks Navy. And in that channel, I've decided to splinter off all of my Navy content to that channel exclusively. So the reason behind that is because I've noticed that a lot of you guys have subscribed to my main channel uh, exclusively for the Navy content, and I don't always put that out. I've decided to just kind of make it its own thing, and then my The Andy Son channel will be more of a personal type vlog channel as well as just other random stuff that I'm going to be doing and then the Andy Talks Navy channel is going to be strictly Navy stuff. And so this dovetails nicely into the third and most important point I want to make about my YouTube updates and that is just changing the overall format of my videos. So I've been doing a lot of research behind the scenes on different ways of improving my videos. Um, been looking at maybe adding a green screen or adding more lights or adding a better camera or adding like acoustic sound absorption so that way the room's not so echoey when I do these videos and just general sprucing up of things. But in doing that, I kind of created this logistical nightmare of, well, where's the lights gonna go? Where's all this gonna go? Where's the green screen gonna go? Where am I gonna sleep? Because <laughs> I record this in my bedroom and I only have so much room to put my bed in this room. So it just created a situation where I don't think I'd be able to put all this stuff in here and it would just look like a big mess. So I decided to rethink my approach and think a little bit more outside the box. So I've been binge watching a lot of these new animation channels on YouTube. Uh, that have been popping up over the past couple of years, like uh, Jane Animations, The Odd One's Out, uh, it's Alex Clark, uh, Tony V Animations. I kind of went down the rabbit hole starting with Jaden. You know, I found you know, Odd One's Out and then just kind of progressed and like, okay, oh, who, who did a collab with who? And oh, these are so cool. And I just really like that style of animation and that style of video. So I really want to you know, throw my hat in the ring and give it a shot myself. So I've been purchasing some new equipment to uh, improve my home studio, including uh, this guy right here, a little uh, scissor extension for my other desk on the side here. And I've also purchased a new mic, which isn't here yet, but uh, when it gets here, I'll be plugging it into a mixer, and I'll be doing like a whole video on my new setup, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm missing out, I'm not seeing the things. But basically just, I've, I'm working on improving my overall setup to lean more towards an audio-based as opposed to a video-based because this is a lot more easily managed than putting up lights and trying to tuck in the chin and all this other stuff because I'm just awkward on camera, and even after doing YouTube for over 10 years, I'm still awkward on camera, and I still can't always look at the camera, and I slouch, and my chin sticks out, and it's just, yeah. So, <laughs> excuse me for being awkward. 
but anyway, I'm just trying to change up the format because I want to try something new. Uh, I've always found a lot of good growth experiences <clears throat> on YouTube when I try something new, like with Andy Cade, which was my Let's Play channel. Um, I found that my quality, uh, especially with my sound quality, improved dramatically when I learned how to do Let's Play videos. Even though the Andy Cade channel, the, the series of Let's Plays that I did, didn't really do all that well, I learned so much from doing those videos. And I think that switching over to an audio slash animation style of video will be the next step in improving my overall videos. What does this mean for like big videos and stuff like that? Well, it means that they're not going to be coming out as frequently as they used to. But that's another reason why I'm doing the Instagram stories. So that way it's not like, well, when's Andy Sand going to make a new video? It's been like two or three weeks. You know, you have something to whet your appetite with. Another question, which dovetails into the personal life thing, that you may be asking is, well, if you're going to be doing all this animation stuff, then how, how much time are you going to put into this? And don't you have school and this, that, and the other? And going into the personal life stuff, um, this is probably one of the harder parts of this video to do. And I've like done retake after retake of this video. And we're gonna get it this time. Come hell or high water, we're gonna get the steak. So, dovetailing into the personal life stuff. Um, about two or three weeks ago, I kinda took a hard look at myself and just where I was going. Um, both school, personal life wise, YouTube life wise, work wise. And I found that I just wasn't happy across the board and I wanted to make some big changes so I decided to uh, put a pause on school for the next month or so uh, I decided to take a break for the second half of the summer semester to work on me I'll be starting school back up in the fall so about September ish so I'm not gonna be out for a very long amount of time so you don't have to worry about the whole financials and things like that. Uh, I'm only going to be out for about a month or so, and then I'll be starting school back up again proper. But I'm going to be taking this time to work on me and to work on improving my life. And one of, one of the big things with improving my life is improving the organization of my living space. So um, you might notice in some of my Instagram stories videos that. I'm showing you the progression of cleaning up and reorganizing my apartment. And that's a big part in my own personal development because I just would look around here and there'd just be boxes and just shit and be so, so disorganized and I found that that was just causing me a lot of stress because you know I'm very organized in my thoughts but when my environment isn't organized, I'm disorganized in here. So, I've been working on improving the environment around me and contributing to society by donating old clothes and shoes and stuff that I don't wear anymore. Um, it's a fairly small contribution, but it's something. And it's helping me to better organize my own life. And in addition to doing that, I'm also looking at eating healthier, uh, trying to phase out uh, animal products. Um, I don't want to say I'm going vegan because <laughs> there's a lot of connotations that come with being vegan because it's more about uh, just not eating animal stuff. It's about not having any animal product or anything like that in your house or in your life. And I don't want to go that far. That's a little bit too much for me. But I do want to eat healthier and just get clean because I noticed that, you know, there'd just be some days where my brain would just be all kinds of foggy and I couldn't think. And then there'd be days where I'd wake up and be like, oh man, it's like my brain is awake. And so I feel that if I were to eat healthier and the most important one has been in getting a regular sleep schedule because 
I'd just be so stressed out for assignments and stuff for school that I wouldn't sleep. Um, I would stay up and then when I would sleep, like I'd just be tossing and turning because I'd just be freaking out about this assignment or this project or a test or something. And it would just drive me nuts. And so I found that that was just kind of a lot of these little things just kind of picked away at my mental well-being. So um, I'm just going to be taking this short amount of time to focus on me, to get my own shit together, and to work on my own personal development. So um, I just want to take this time out to say thank you for all your support, you know, watching my videos, giving them likes, uh, sharing videos, um, giving, you know, writing comments down below. Um, I do read all of them, even the spammy ones. <laughs> and even though I may not respond to you, or I may respond to you in, an, you know, maybe a couple days after the fact, um, just know that I do read all the comments. And uh, I appreciate every last one of them. Uh, you guys have been so amazing over these past several years, the past decade plus. I mean, I've been doing this for a long ass time, and you guys have been so supportive of me. And I couldn't have a better crew with me. And, you know, I just can't wait to start this next step in not only my own life, uh, my own personal life, but my own YouTube life as well. And I hope you guys would stick with me throughout the journey. And uh, that's all I want to say. So, with that said, this is the Andy Son. Sign for now, and as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.